So Warner Brothers are trying to step it up in amusement. AT&T just bought them and they're like, we gave away Harry Potter to Universal because... And they earned how much money? So how about we show Universal Studios Hollywood what a real Hollywood studio tour is? And have a tram that takes you to the Hollywood sign. Seems like a really cool deal for tourists. You know what that means? Do 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 And gotta step it up. They're also having a Halloween event called Horror Made It Here Festival of Frights. Warner Brothers has it, lights out, and the conjuring, so I'm more down than floors. The artwork has Pennywise the Clown and the Joker smiling, menacing as you feel threatened and just throw your money away at it. Horror made here or student loan? Hmm. How bad could it be getting bills sent to collection? Crazanity opened at Six Flags Magic Mountain. I have yet to ride a Zamperla Giant Discovery because Six Flags Over Georgia wanted to deliver nothing until corporate mandated an RMC, so I can't complain. We have Twisted Cyclone, but we can still use more thrilling flats. Actually, we could just we can use more just about anything. I'm mad at that the opening ceremony looked like some costume festival party at 3 a.m. after most people left. Just, just go home. It's the world's tallest pendulum ride at 17 stories. 75 miles per hour seats 40 riders at a time and broke a record by having the quickest most thoughtless name and spelling for a ride attraction i don't know which is worse the ride's name or the ones that named it they are crazane but it looks fun regardless if the color scheme just looks like it was the park trying to get rid of all the excess paint they had and now to the actual announcement Kennywood Park, outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, announced their 2019 attraction, Still Curtain. It is a 4,000 foot long, 220 feet high, 75 miles per hour, SNS still sit down coaster with nine inversions, a record breaker for America, and one of which is the tallest in the world at 197 feet. I know what you're thinking, Kennywood? Out of all parks, the park that still has that old boat with the biblical captain eerily saying, Noah is my name. Still Curtain will be in a new section themed to the Pittsburgh Steelers called Steelers Country, which I think is absolutely awful. But that's only because I'm from Cincinnati, so it's disgusting. But I think it looks nice, and I imagine walking in the section like Wiz Khalifa. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. I think the I think that a sports theme section is fine. I just wonder how the back end IP stuff works for something like that. But I think it's nice. It'll have the coaster, some games, a kids play area, and some other family stuff. Fury 325 was themed after the Charlotte Hornets, and that was received very well. The name, Still Curtain. Not the biggest fan, not completely against it. It works. Reminds me of the Iron Curtain during the Cold War. But apparently it's based off the term used to describe the Steelers defense popularized in the 70s and the 80s. As you know, I am so done with the word still and iron for coaster names. But this one, I can't argue. It's almost avoidable with the theme. The color scheme and overall look Black and yellow is fine, but it's really not that great. It definitely doesn't match the look of the rest of the park. And I thought Phantom's Revenge slime time color scheme was off. The ride looks like it was designed by an imaginative third grader. This is the type of doodles that you draw during a standardized test prep course. This is what LSD does to you, kids. But it doesn't seem like it takes up too much space, mainly because it's very vertical. Didn't know we were building skyscrapers here. So obviously the layout has nothing to do with the theme because if you see football defense, when you look at this, you are one of those overtly philosophical art asses. The star archway looks boss though. Like you probably should put a net there, you know, unless you want somebody walking under to get a concussion if something falls off. Oh shit, that's the theme. You get a concussion. I get it now. The layout. It's a 220 foot lift hill, 
you dip and then you go into this record breaking high corkscrew which is just played with drunken fire vibes so i'm really don't feel that good about this ride's well-being the curse is present then it twists again into this dive drop looks wacky but fun unless you have vest restraints so SNS, just don't, don't do it. <laughs> then there's this low to the ground S curve into a banana roll, making me hungry for some Chiquita, which flips you upside down twice. Then there's an ejector airtime hill that looks like it has some sufficient ejection. Again, please no vests. Then there's a rollover or sea serpent roll, which like flips you upside down twice. And as long as it doesn't feel like an SLC rollover, we should be fine. You twist a little with an airtime hill over the pathway, leading you towards the park's pond. Then there's this narrow dive loop where you float above the water like Apollo's chariot. Next, there's a zero G stall. There is absolutely no gangsters in this restroom here, guys. This is directly under the last airtime hill and creates the arch at the entrance of the Steeler section. There's an airtime hill into a corkscrew. Then there's a cutback. Like a nigga blazing rails. Like a nigga a damn lasso. Like a nigga's timbers are twisted. The manufacturer, SNS. Very interesting choice. Their recent coasters haven't been the most successful. In, in fact, anytime SNS gets really ambitious, it usually doesn't end well. But I truly hope the best for this ride because it looks exciting. Even though this ride animation gives me anxiety, a lot of which is not good anxiety, I'll give Kenny Woods their props. Do your shit. But not literally, that's just vile. Thanks for watching. What do you guys think about this new coaster? And if anybody has written Crazanity, let me know how that is. And how do you feel about Warner Brothers' new attraction in Los Angeles? Make sure you hit that thumbs up and that notification bell is on. Share it with everybody. I'm Rob from Rob's Rides, keeping it 100 with all things amusement. And if you thought I was AR Coaster Guy, hit subscribe and I'll come back with a new video.